Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been forever since I've done just like a sit down, film somewhere type of video. I am still getting used to this room and like the angles and stuff, but I think this is good for now. It's kind of plain, I know, but I kind of like the vibe. I'll get more stuff, don't worry guys, but I have a box like sitting right to my left. I have a box and the little mirror sitting next to me, so it's just crazy. But anyways, today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone 14 Pro. This is the Pro version, it's not the Max. The Max versions of the phones are just way too big and I hate them. I did have a Max version of the XS or XS and it was just way, way too big. So I decided to always stick with the smaller version of the phone. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed because I film my life, we chit chat and we have a good time and yeah, it would mean the world to me. Also follow me on Instagram because I am in a surgical tech program and I keep you guys up to date over there on like what I'm doing and everything. So follow me on Instagram as well. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm loving the background with this shadow. Can we just take a moment? Okay, so this is my home screen. It is of Sierra's dog. I just love her dog and her boyfriend's dog. I mean, come on, look at the little palm ski. Archie is the cutest. Okay, anyway, this is my home screen. I only have one screen. So as you can see, I don't have multiple pages. And this is definitely a whole lot more different than any other what's on my iPhone. I completely changed my phone home screen layout. If you look at any of my other videos, it is not like this at all. Um, but anyway, let's get on into it. So I have these widgets. I got heavily inspired by this girl. I forgot her name when I was showing you guys my phone in a vlog. Um, so I have the date right at the top. Then I have uh, widget Smith. They're all widget Smith except for like the screen time. And then I have like the little carousel scrolly thing. I really liked the dark vibes of the moon in the background. The background is on Pinterest. So if you want to try to find it, I think it's just like beach or ocean or something like that. Then I have this carousel thing. So I have the battery. I have the personal reminders. Then I have um, the screen time and I just like the screen time. I hate actually seeing how long I spent on my phone because it's kind of embarrassing. But today it's not too bad because I had school today. So the time isn't too bad spent on my phone, but I like the aesthetic it gives for the home screen and that's what the girl had. So I was like, oh, I kind of like that. So I just kept it there. Um, then I have YouTube, obviously, um, you guys know, always on YouTube. So that's why that's there. Then I have Google Maps because it's like easy access to just like tap Google Maps and like see where you are, especially when you're driving and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to see like where I'm at. Yeah. So then I have Facebook, which I go on there to creep on people. And then I have Discord because you gotta keep up with the drama with YouTubers, you know, like that's where you go. And then I have Instagram. So next I just have Twitter and I don't really use this for like public use. I kind of just use it for like personal use. Yeah, um, especially too with like people being canceled. Like I don't want to be canceled, you know? So I just use it to tweet my feelings. I'm private on there anyway. Next up is Pinterest and I want to show you guys my Pinterest board because I did have a pin go kind of viral, which is this one. I mean, look at how many impressions in saves. And I know that's not a lot for some people, but you know, next up um, is my Pinterest page. And I love how it tells you how many monthly views you get. It's kind of cool. Mine's low compared to like some people because they have like 1.2 million views per month or like monthly and like I'm over here with like 31,000 but I do love my Pinterest board and if you want to see like um, Some of my Instagram posts or just things that I'm inspired by this is a really good depiction of like my style and like what I like um, I love Pinterest next is reddit and all I do on reddit is like read stuff. It, I like discord better um, the threads get so confusing to me on Reddit, so I tend to stick to Discord to read stuff. Um, next is TikTok, 
and obviously he goes to this door um you should definitely follow me on tiktok my tiktoks have been actually like getting some views so like i'm happy at first i hated it because i'd only get like two views and i put so much hard work into this like 30 second video that i wasn't getting any traction on so yeah follow me on tiktok if you want to next up is be real and i absolutely love be real i wish it was like the only social media that existed because it's like being real and just like you just see random photos people aren't curated to look perfect or like be perfect it's just a picture it's like your mom posting on facebook like what you did today i don't know just like super casual next i have the like to know it app the like to know it app is for creators where you can like find products to link and then you get a commission um so that was my social folder next we have the edit folder and this is the preview app i love this to like preview what my feed's gonna look like even though i've kind of like given up on that because of reels it's just really difficult so my feed isn't as curated as i want um, but it's not bad i just try to make it like at least look somewhat appealing to the eye you know um next up is lightroom and this is like where i edit all my pictures and stuff um premiere rush is a perfect editing app to use when you're editing videos so i don't know why it's not like anyway um next up is camera which i love my camera because this is just so good like i i don't know people hate on the 14s like camera but i think it's better i'm coming from a 12 so obviously i would think the camera would be better um then i have lens buddy lens buddy is amazing as you can see i'm like filming myself i don't know if this is actually picking up on camera but like this is how i take my own photos so I don't need to like ask someone to take my photos. So I just film on this little tripod. I put my phone into it and then I just click this and then it just takes my picture every second. So like, smile. And it just like continuously takes photos, which is amazing. Next, I have the Tezza app and I used to put like some filters on my reels which i still can but i honestly don't really uh use this one a lot anymore because i just like lower the exposure and that's my edit folder next is productivity so i have my reminders app my notes app youtube studio where i can go and like see all my analytics and stuff and see when i like lose more subscribers tier um next i have both my mail accounts so one is like my iCloud and then the other one is obviously Gmail. Then I have my calendar and then I have Chrome, um, just like my search engine app. And then I have a fitness category where I can book cycle bar classes. Um, I have the Pam app and then I have the Aero Scale. I worked with them and they're great. Like I loved their product and we still actually use it to today. So like good product. Then I have finance. These are just like, you know, credit cards, debit cards, PayPal. I would have Venmo in there only. I really only use Venmo for like one person. It's like one of my friends. So I really don't use that a lot. And then I have shop. Now shop has some miscellaneous stuff because technically I consider Starbucks and Dunkin shopping because it's kind of expensive. So I have Starbucks, Amazon, eBay, um, Dunkin', Sephora, Domino's, and the App Store. And then below here I have my messages, phone, photos, and then podcasts. So I've been getting into podcasts so much lately. So here's a podcast like I like. Um, Karen and Qual haven't done one in like a hot minute, but... I really only follow like these so I can't listen to a whole podcast like I can't guys don't leave me suggestions because I can barely keep up with these like look I still have 10 minutes on this one because like I listen to them in the car and then I'm just kind of like okay I'm done listening now because I'm home like I'm not going to keep listening to it because then what am I going to look at I don't know it's just one of those things that like it's more of an audio sort of a situation so i i don't know 
Luckily, I have long drives everywhere I go, so I put on a podcast. Podcasts are great, but I don't know how people keep up with podcasts because the episodes are just so freaking long. Then over here, I have like organized, kind of weird. I didn't want like a long thing, so I just have my calendar search engine. So if I'm like, oh, I need to search that, I could just swipe left and then tap. And I always use my phone with my left hand, so it's weird. It's a weird ambidextrous thing, I guess, because like I brush my teeth with my left hand and then, but I write with my right hand. I'm like right hand dominant, but like I always use my phone with my left hand. So I swipe and then I can tap with my left thumb, the search engine, Google Chrome, and then I have my clock. And that's just like easy access to like get to my clock, which is nice. And then I have um, my uh, weather right there. Then swiping on over here, just like all of my apps. So basically Amazon, Amazon Alexa, App Store, App Store, Apple Store, Authenticator. And the Authenticator is such a great app because it allows you to not get hacked as easily because your account will send your Authenticator app like this code and the code only lasts for 30 seconds and then it switches. So that's really good if you want to keep your um like accounts really secure then i have be real and then i have bumble haven't been on that app in a hot minute um but i don't know i'm kind of like sketched out about like meeting people like online um calculator calendar camera camera connect chase um chrome clock contacts cycle bar discord discover disney world donato's donato's pizza is so good and I'm so happy there's one in Winter Park. DoorDash, um, Drive, Duncan. I love door dashing things, but it's so darn expensive. Like they tag on like all these fees and stuff. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm losing sunlight. I need to hurry. Okay, eBay, Aeroscale, Facebook, Facetune, Basic, uh, Fairwinds, Fidelity, Find My Fitness, um, Gmail, Google Maps, Health, Hulu. Instagram, iTunes Store, Lens Buddy, Lightroom, LinkedIn, Like to Know What Creator, Luca and Gray, Lululemon. I had to take Luca and Gray and Lululemon like off the main page because like I don't want to be like tempted to shop. Then I have Lyft, Mail, um, Maps, Messages, Messenger, Music, My Cricket because I have uh, the phone service Cricket. Nectar, it's like this place in Winter Park where you can get like green juice and like acai bowls and stuff. Then I have Netflix, Notes, Pam, that's the Pamela Reef app. Um, she helped me get like in good physical shape. Um, PayPal phone photos, Pinterest, podcast, Poshmark, uh, Premiere Rush, Preview, Prime Video, Reddit, Reminders, Retouch, Safari, Sephora, um, Settings, Simply Safe, Smart Lock. Okay, Socratic is such a good app. You need it if you're in school. You can literally take a picture of a question and it, like Google searches it hardcore. So really good app. Um, next is Starbucks Student. That's like the Canvas app for like my school where you can like see my assignments and stuff. Um, Tezza, TikTok, Twitter, TV, oh, Apple TV, um, Uber, Unfold, Venmo, Wallet, Weather, WFTV News, WhatsApp, because like we use a WhatsApp in um, school, and then Widget Smith, WordPress, Yelp. I love reading bad Yelp reviews in my free time, like when I'm super bored, even though. I have no time to like read any bad Yelp reviews. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube Studio, and then Zelle, which I haven't had Zelle because I don't like to have so many apps. But, um, okay, I'm gonna stop recording now. I don't like having so many apps for like money, like Venmo, Cash App, I don't know, there's another one that I think I'm forgetting, but like I don't want so many money apps to like try to keep track, you know, like, I would just like it to be, you know, one. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it for my what's on my iPhone video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys 
in my next video. Bye.